Hey guys, road trip. That's all. That's all. <laughs> I was hoping you'd kind of take it from there. I see. Yeah. A lot of expectations. We're going to Philadelphia. You guys knew that already, but now we're actually going. Yep. We're in a big old, what are we in? We're in our Hyundai Santa Fe. Oh, Santa Fe. oh I got a rant about this. Uh oh. Now so, guys, so, take a seat, grab your cup of tea, because we reserved a rental car from Avis, like, two or three weeks ago, prepaid and everything, so, like, it was already paid for, and, like, picking it up today at 11 o'clock, and the last time I went to Pittsburgh, we rented a vehicle from Enterprise, but Enterprise doesn't do unlimited mileage, so we had to, like, upgrade our car and whatever, it cost a lot more than it needed to cost. But Avis does unlimited mileage, and there's an Avis that I used to go to all the time, like whenever my mom and I would go to the States. That's closer to my mom's place, and they're like fantastic over there, great. But that's kind of far from where we live now, so we wanted somewhere that was on the way towards like the border and closer to where we live. So we got an Avis over there, and drove up today. We got there at 11, like 15, ready to get in the car. Let's do this, let's go walk in guy was like oh first of all remember when we walked he's like i need your um, driver's license credit card yeah. start pulling it out he walked away from the desk and just disappeared <laughs> did you not notice that i did yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. did you come back for like four minutes i was just like okay <laughs> like what's going on here so eventually he came back and took he's like i need your driver's license idea i was like it's sitting right there like, you've been gone for four minutes it's sitting right there picks it up and he's just like so my fleet of cars aren't here yet. They're stuck or they're late because of Toronto's construction and traffic. Homie, really? I'm from Toronto. I know the roads. No, it's, no. That's, that's a lie. Don't tell lies. Tell the truth and put the devil to shame. I just don't get how it was like... Yeah, the, the fleet's late. Like, do you had a, a truck coming and carrying, like, all your cars, yeah. like, every night? Like, yeah. Leave them at your and it's location. it's Friday at, like, yeah. 11, so why do you not have your cars here? It's a weekend. That's when people rent. Anyways. So, he's like, I have two cars available. I have a Cruze, and I have the Hyundai Santa Fe sitting right there. So, I was like, okay. He goes, well, you can just wait for the fleet. And I was like, no. No, we're not doing that. The road. Yeah. So I was like, I'll take the Hyundai. The Hyundai. Is that going to cost me more? He said, yes, it will. And I said, no, it won't because I made a reservation that I prepaid for. So that car that I requested should have been sitting right here. And we had like a full size. It was going to give me like a compact. I was like, really? No, we're not doing that. Yeah, might as well have taken the Corolla. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, no, we're taking that. I was like, and I'm not paying more for it because my reservation should have been here. Like, you guys should have had it ready. So he's like, let's see what I can do. So he takes my card, whatever, prints out the thing, and I had my phone out with the price I paid to make sure that he didn't charge me a dime extra. So whatever, price was the same. And then he was like, oh, so yeah, you'll take that car. And as he points at it, someone like drives off with it. I was just like, okay, the car is gone. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's gonna go clean it for you. He'll be right back. Please have a seat. I was just like, really? So sit down. About, let's say, 11 minutes later, the guy pulls back up with the car, and he's like, here you go, ma'am, let's do your walk around, do the walk around, you know, there are a lot of scratches on it, none of the scratches down, I opened the car to get in, and I was just like, this car's dirty, and I was, I was gonna be like, whatever, because it wasn't like, you know, like, disgusting dirty, there were just a lot of, like, crumbs and stuff everywhere, so I was like, whatever, I'll just let it go, like, I don't want this to ruin my weekend. But then I saw like chocolate bar wrappers in the car. I was just like, I thought he went to clean the car. There's actual garbage. <laughs> like there's actual garbage. So I was like, no, I'm not paying money for, no, that's just no. So I walked out and I said, excuse me, is this, a, is this as clean as the car can get? And he's just like, what do you mean? Like, is this as clean as it gets? Because there's still chocolate in there. He's like, oh, give me five minutes. I'll go clean it again. He's like, so what were we doing the first time? Just joyriding? So he takes the car, drives off with it again. I sat down and wait. He comes back and the car is like, the outside is dripping wet of water. So I was like, oh, okay. You know, maybe he did a better job this time. Open it. Most 
of the crumbs were gone. Not all of them. We'll say about like 60% of them were gone. And then I looked at the where the chocolate wrapper was. It was still sitting there. <laughs> so I'm just like, excuse me, um, there's still garbage in here. He comes in, he's just like, oh, I don't know how I missed that. Sorry. He grabs it and goes. The mats, like the floor mats in the car, were dripping wet. Like he just sprayed it and threw it back. Didn't shake it off. Just soaking wet like we had just been, I don't know, puddle walking or whatever. Puddle walking? I don't know. Okay, I couldn't figure out what to say. <laughs> so anyway, so we finally get in the car. Like 45 minutes later, it felt like me sitting there. No one apologized. Not a sorry for the wait, ma'am. Nothing. Sitting in a wet car that is still kind of dirty and just like, it's cool. No, it's not cool, Avis. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so we're on our way now. <laughs> Reminds me of Seinfeld. You know, you know how to take the reservation. Anybody can just take the reservation. <laughs> Gotta hold the reservation. Yes, they did not hold our reservation at all that we paid for. That's what pissed me off. It's like, this was just like a half ass. It was like a fully paid reservation. So the car should have been sitting there clean and ready to go. Yep. Oh, never going back there again. It was not so that. And I tweeted sense. them. They responded back and they said, Are you still waiting for your car? And yeah, I let them know we weren't. But we'll see what they said. I can't check my tweets anymore because we've crossed the border. So no internet for me until we either stop at a service station or get to Philly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is going to happen first. Stop. Oh, okay, so. good. Because I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I'm getting hungry. What time is it? Oh, jeez. It's 2.20. 2.22. Wendy's not letting me eat. You can stop whenever <laughs> you want. You're the one driving. Like, I have no control over when you stop. But hey, we need to stop where you'd like food. I see. We just passed a service station, like literally was, 10 seconds. No, that was, that was only on the other side. Are you sure? Yep. Nice. There's one coming up. Cool. What's there? Hi. Guys, I want Joe's Crab Shack when we get to Philly. Guys, I don't. Dave's not willing I to don't. take me at all. So, Wendy's gonna. What if I get takeout? Wendy's I gonna. No, I, that, that's even much worse for Why? me. Because so, the room will fall? Oh, it stinks. Yeah. I'll eat it in the car. What? No, that's even worse. You're you're like making the confinement smaller and smaller. Well, then we'll put down the window. Why don't you just go with Abby? Have a great time. Because I don't know when we'll go. That's the problem. We could go like tonight. Yeah. I'll ask her when we get to their house. Yeah. We can go and then. Are we going to their house? Yeah. She says she's going shopping after work for clothes for the wedding and then she'd be home around nine, she said. Cool. So, maybe. She has no plans for tonight, she said, too, so. Fine. Right what are you going to say? Nothing. Oh, sorry. No, yeah. I wonder I was cutting you off. Nope. Oh. Yeah. No, so maybe I'll true. go with Abby, guys. Maybe her and I will go to Joe's Crab Shack today. Dave will go play in the pool. Sure, Dave can do whatever he wants Dave to do. Dave forgot his swimming trunks again. Although I told you to bring it. <laughs> Guys, yesterday he was packing, and in the middle of packing, he asked me, is there a pool at the hotel? And I said, I don't know, babe, but most hotels nowadays have a pool, so bring them anyway, because I might get pulled in to do something, and you can go swimming. And he's like, sure. And then he tells me now I didn't bring them. You were literally, like, you were standing at your drawer. I don't actually want to go swimming by myself. Uh oh. Oh, that's why you stopped? Because yeah. I told you I can't? Yeah. Yeah. He asked me to come with him and I said, Babe, you know better. I can't go swimming at a pool. I thought it was because of her. No, it was not because of my hair. It's because of the chlorine. The chlorine, somehow, it affects my sickle cell. And if I go into like a pool that's like a public pool, because they have, you know, lots of lots chlorine. Of chlorine yeah. I get sick like almost instantly. Like within like half an hour, I'd be like, okay, hospital time. And I don't want that. So, I don't play with those pools. Which is why I treasure the beach so much. The beach is pretty awesome. Is there, there's no chlorine. Are there beaches in Philly? Uh, in, in March? <laughs> yeah, in March, more importantly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Yeah, you can buy something. It'll cost like five bucks if you want. What? To buy just some swimming. No, I, I don't actually want it. I said I don't want to go swim by myself. Oh, okay. You can go with Cod, eh? Maybe he'll swim with you. Maybe. That's okay. Is that weird? A little bit. <laughs> okay. For two guys to go swim in a small pool. Just playing in the pool. <laughs> Catch caught, eh? 
<laughs> like if we had a ball, sure. <laughs> That'd be better. Uh, that's funny. That, that is funny. Anyway. I brought along a read and a book to read, guys. You wanna see what it is? Can I show them what it is? Up to you, you're gonna handle the comments. There it is. It's a Canadian guide to conception, birth, and everything in between. Cause like the what's the normal one called? And why are you reading that? <laughs> Whatever, what's the normal one called? I don't know. The other pregnancy book that's famous. What to expect when you're Yeah, that one. It's um it's more American, so like the tips in there and stuff don't apply to Canadians as well in terms of like services and stuff that's available. Ah. Yeah. So I was like, what? wait, yeah, what doesn't apply? Like, <laughs> Do we get pregnant? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's just like when they tell you like numbers to call. And... When you're giving your baby money, <laughs> use this currency. <laughs> what? Yeah, no stuff like that. So apparently, this book, this author, and Douglas is like superb. Ariana recommended her to me because she's had two children, mm. and she read and Douglas's books. So yeah, that's what I'm reading. Dave's just driving, just driving. Lay back. Finish it. I don't know. I don't With my mind and my money and my money and my mind. Sipping on gin and juice. That's how it starts. Lay back. Rolling down the street. Then you're sipping on gin and juice. You can't say the song in like different parts. It's just all over. I can't get it. Uh, okay, start again. Okay, where, how does it start? What's the Rolling. first? Rolling. Rolling. Oh, I have to give you the yeah, line. I need a line, yeah. Rolling down the street. There's a line. Gin and juice, laid back. Got a drink on my mind. I don't know. I can't I heard with that him. song in like years. I can't with him. Uh, anyways, we're going to get back to our music playing here and the rest of our journey. We have five more hours to go. Countdown's on. Yeah. We're coming, Philly. Coming for you. Hello. We are. We made our first stop for food. Burger King one. It's hard for Dave and I to both find a fast food place that we like. So today, Burger King one. Really, I I don't think that's even fair. It's hard for you to find. It's hard for fast me to food. find fast food that I like. Because I like a lot of fast food. Yes, there and is, I don't. Yeah. Um, but Burger King's something that we both can kind of compromise on. So. Luckily, we found one after passing like seven service stations in Hunger. Um, yeah, I got myself a chicken sandwich. I got a spicy chicken sandwich, and it's not spicy at all. Like the one in San Martin was way spicier than this is. But I guess and it's dumped down for the American taste. I see. And what? And there's no tomato in it. Yeah, I was just asking Dave that. How come? Chicken sandwiches don't have tomato on them. Like almost everywhere. Like if you get a bread or chicken sandwich, it's always like no tomatoes. Why is that? That's my question of the day for anyone out there who has an answer for me. It'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, do we have any like sous chefs or something? Yeah. For anyone who's worked at a fast food restaurant that would know the answer to that. Cause it's funny, I, I think it's probably like the because if you think about well, I don't know. I, I was thinking if it was like directly on the breaded chicken. Like it might, it might get like, well, it might get like the tomato texture might get kind of uh, lose its its kind of firmness or whatever. Like it might it's just, yeah, yeah. it'd be kind of all gross and people would just be like, ugh. So I, I don't know. Speculation, guys. Yeah. Speculation. Because on a burger, it's almost like the grease. It, it allows it to just stay, keep its shape. There's nothing like gritty against it. Mm -hmm. but that's, that's the best I got. Maybe. We are four hours away. I feel like the last time we talked to you, we were only like five hours away. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, we're, we're more than, oh gosh, oh gosh. We're more than halfway. More than halfway, yeah. Just yeah. over. Yeah. When we stopped at Burger King, I checked my phone on the Wi Fi and messaged my cousins to let them know what time we'd be getting in. Um, so hopefully that's cool with them. Hopefully someone's home. Someone's usually home. We'll just show up. That's how it goes. I see. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to eating, guys, because I'm hungry. We're not even gonna check in the hotel first? I wasn't going to, because I don't know where the hotel is to, like, their house. I don't want to go, like, left and then have to go back right. That's why we have this fancy GPS unit. But it's not gonna give me both on a map, you know what I mean? 
it will give me the two points. Wait, you could, we could do some deductive research. I don't feel like doing deductive research. I see. <laughs> we'll continue on our way, guys. Jeez. Go ahead. All right, don't go. I have a lot of packages that I had shipped to the hotel, guys, so I'm crossing my fingers that they are there waiting for me. I got, like, 12 different kind of hot chocolates sent there. Um, what else? Pick some giveaway items for you guys that I want to give away in the next little while. I got those. I want to see what it is. I got those sent there, too. Just a bunch of things. So they should have, like, 12 packages for me. It'll be great. And if they're not there, Wemmy will be upset. Oh, yeah. Someone's going to get it. Dave. Dave is who gets it, even though he has nothing to do with it. No control, yet he will get it. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to eat my lunch. Every night of my It's dark and you can probably barely see me, but this is what Philadelphia welcomed us to. Just <laughs> lovely traffic, barely moving. 12 lanes wide, merging yeah. into two. Yeah, so we don't know what to do. Yeah, and we need to get to the far right, and there's literally like eight lanes on the right, and we need to get over in the next, like, I don't know. 100 meters? That's all right. We'll figure it out. We'll make it somehow. And if not, we'll head the wrong direction and the, turn around at some point. The GPS told us to get off and we were like, nah. Oh, it's 30 meters we have to turn. Yeah. We have 30 meters to make it all the way to the right. And people aren't letting us in. Well, nobody's moving, so that yeah. doesn't help things. Yeah. We're almost there, though. We are 33 minutes away. <laughs> Hey guys, we're in this piece. We made it to Philly. We stopped by my favorite Chinese place to get some food, China Ruby. But the best part is Wemmy was just recording for about five minutes and the camera wasn't even on. <laughs> Shut up. She thought it was just holding it. I really thought I was, but... Or the camera's on, it just wasn't. It wasn't recording, yeah. So we're on Cotman. Sorry, what's up? Mwah, love you. We're on Cotman, just chilling on the street. Okay. And there's Dave. Yeah. Just waiting for her. We're like regular. We are here, guys. At our hotel room, that is. We didn't record when we first came in. Ah, there's Dave. We didn't record when we first came in because we had to demolish our food. So there's mine. <laughs> Demolished. 
Dave did all right on his. So, yeah. yeah. <sighs> all right, calm down here. You out of breath from eating? I'm out of breath from telling a story. You didn't even but, tell a um, story. <laughs> Uh, we got here, and thanks, babe. No problem. You're holding it wrong anyway, right, guys? Christina gave us a package. Look at her trying to show us up from our wedding um, welcome package. Bam. So, let's do we're this. Are going to see what's inside? Yeah. You guys are getting the first look. I really wish we had given ours to, like, the um, hotel lobby, like, in hindsight. Yeah. Yeah, we screwed that one up. It was way too hard <laughs> trying to find people's rooms and since we yeah we didn't we didn't we're even way get too to everybody. Busy for that, yeah, and we had like that's, forty left over. That's alright. You live, you learn. It's a Coca Cola. Ooh. Bam. What's she sponsored by Coke? I don't know. Does it say anything on it? And ooh, there's a letter in here to our family and friends. Welcome to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Thank you so much for coming to share our wedding weekend. We feel blessed for all the love and support you have shown us thus far. We cannot wait to celebrate with you. Please enjoy the thoughtful treats and information we have included in this bag. If you have any questions, please call Helene or Frida. Who is Frida? <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to figure out who Frida is because we're going to her place tomorrow. We're going to her place tomorrow morning. We're going to her place Sunday. Like, Frida's place is the spot, but I don't know who Frida is. Is it her grandma or something? I feel like it's more like her sister. You don't know her sister's name? No, I don't know her brother's name. That's embarrassing. I know. Once again, thank you so very much for being here for one of the most memorable days of our lives. We are looking forward to a wonderful time with all of you. Love, William and Dorsina. Okay, get back to the good stuff. <gasps> Shortbread cookies! The way to my heart! Ew. You don't like these? No. Oh my gosh, I love them. Hershey's milk chocolate, the way to your heart. No. Needs no? to have almonds. Or something. I don't like just chocolate. And then the rest is just good old stuffing. Oh my goodness. Bam. We know what that's like. We definitely <laughs> know what that's like. We've had our share of stuffing. That's oh, funny. that's nice. I really like the lace detail too. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Very, very totally cute. Totally stole it from our wedding though. Come on, yeah. guys. Yeah. That's alright. Okay, all right. so we're gonna get dressed and my fly was down. That's okay. I, I didn't get you. And yep. we're gonna go to the cousin's mm -hmm. home. And Wemmy's gonna go without Dave, so Dave can sleep in the that bed. That is incorrect, baby. I tried, guys. Highly incorrect. Okay, fine. You know what? Dave's gonna want to drive, but do that's my okay. Hair. You don't. Nope. Oh well, you'll figure it out. I'll do my best. All right. Let's, well, let's we gotta go. do that. We still got a bunch of stuff in the car that we gotta get out. And